You don't know, ain't our ja, don't you fret, cause she'll show ya. Don't you know, have no fear, Sasquatch so finally here. You know, it's our ja, don't you fret, cause she'll show ya. Okay, I'm getting ready to glue, and I'm pretty nervous about gluing, but just gotta jump in and do it, right? And I decided that with the apples, I didn't like the Tripoli, e, and so I sanded those with the 220, well, down to the 220, and so we will just spray those with the lacquer. I also didn't use the Tripoli e on the background, so we'll see how that goes. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to start gluing. All right, my wood glue. All right, I'm just going to start up here. And I'm going to add the glue. And then I'm going to use my paintbrush to paint it. Hello, working on the fruit bowl again, and gl still gluing pieces, but getting it done. One thing I want to do before I glue, which I kind of forgot about, is on the pattern, the apple has these marks like for the apple seeds. I thought, well, I could do that with my wood burner. And so I have all my little pieces of wood burner here, wood burner tips. And looking at the pieces, I found one that I thought would be perfect. This one right here. See how that looks like an apple seed shape? So let's try it out. Okay, it's ready. I marked each of the apple slices where I want the seed to go. This is a little bit scary since you know we've done a lot on the project. Let's just do it. Okay. Ooh, they're it's kind of large. Let's see if we like it or not. Uh, not liking it. I'm not liking it. Let's see if I can fix it. Rats! Look at that! We can fix it. Okay, I think I found a different tip. Like that. So that one's not apple seed shaped, so we'll have to do some twisting on it to make it apple seed shaped, but that's okay. And that's hot. And so I tried to take it off and yeah, not ready yet. Are you kidding me? Hi. So that worked. Got the apple seeds on there and it's important to get the apple seeds because they not only carry the entire DNA of the apple, but the apple tree itself. So very important little tiny seeds. And we have them on there now. Okay, I'm gonna keep on going. 
Hello! It's another day and I'm working on the bowl of fruit. I did some gluing, finished it actually, and I'll show it to you. Okay, the gluing is finished and I cut around the edges so that it's just the bowl of fruit now. Let me see if I can move it somewhere. There are a few things, some gaps. I had to add this grape to fix an error that I made when I glued the apple too far away. And so I had to do some adjusting there. Um, but I think it's looking, it's looking like grapes and a bowl of fruit. So uh, here we are and spring is next. I didn't put that grape on because I thought it looked odd over there. So I just have the two extra grapes here. And the back is just a board. Huh, it's kind of shaped like Louisiana. Cool. There is just the board and I cut out the board as I could with my scroll saw so that you can't see too much of it from the front side. And so then I just sanded a little bit. But the next step that I need to do is I need to spray it with the finish that I'm going to use. Hello, I am back again and I am going to um, put the, the finish on, which is this polyurethane stuff onto my bowl of fruit since I'm all done. Here it is down on this piece of paper or piece of cardboard there, ready to be sprayed. Okay. Hi. So I'm going to spray this. It'll take a few, it'll take a few coats to get it. Make sure it comes out right and that we just paint it on. Or spray it on, I mean. it gets everywhere. You can see some nooks and crannies it didn't get into. See some places where some glue got on to some surfaces where this won't stick. All right, we'll just let that dry now for a while. Okay, it's ready for another layer of this uh, polyurethane. So let's do that now.
All right, very nice. That second coat is all finished drying. And so the project is officially done. I have it sitting right here. There it is. It's officially done. Thank you for joining me as you followed me while I worked on the entire fruit bowl project. And um, it's done. So now I have to figure out a new project to do. So I will we'll do that and we'll see you next time when we start a new project. Don't you